Howdy folks, welcome back to Hugh Jass Gaming's World of Tanks Replays. I'm Hubert Jass. Okay, today we are in the garage taking a look at the British Tier 4 medium tank, the Matilda. She ain't exactly pretty, is she? A little squat, boxy, warts, bumps all over the place. Yeah, not a pretty tank by any means. You know, I think uh, the old saying, beauty is only skin deep, was never more aptly applied than when applied to our old friend Maddie here. What oh Maddie? How I love you. Let's kick this off by examining the armor, shall we? I've brought up some screens from uh, World of Tanks Tank Viewer. It's a great little program and uh, I'll put a link in the video description for you guys. But it shows here, along with its accompanying color coding chart, the different thicknesses of armor and the locations on the tank. So when we're looking at the frontal armor of our Matilda tank here, uh, we can see that uh, the front is anywhere between 55 and 75 millimeters for the forward-facing vertical surfaces. Uh, in addition, the turret is packing some uh, spaced armor here on the gun mantlet. And moving on to our side view here, uh, we can see we've got anywhere from about 47 75 millimeters, you know, just looking along the top edges here, turret of course, is the same front, back, rear, 75 millimeters. Uh, in addition to the 70 millimeters of hull side armor, we also have some heavy side skirts here in the purple that are counted as spaced armor. And uh, these do tend to eat a lot of shots. They are going to be your friend with the Matilda. The rear of the Matilda is also well armored with 55 millimeters, although with not a lot of slope. Turret rear is that good same old 75 millimeters as the front and side, so you're good with that there. Now in this image here, what I wanted to point out to you is the uh, interior of the side skirts. While this uh, plate back here is indicated to be not all that heavy thickness, you can see that it is at a very considerable slope. So that makes it effective, nonetheless, at uh, eating side shots. Now, I think uh, we might as well go and have a look at the gun. The Matilda has a choice of three different guns. Um, the howitzer, I've never bothered with it. I just don't think it's going to be effective enough. It's not my kind of gun. Uh, your mileage may vary. The, the QF 2-pounder Mark X is... Uh, you know, it's reasonable. Rate of fire, quite low on the penetration, uh, low on average damage, 0.36, not bad accuracy, 1.78 time, but still, the real gun that we're looking at here is this guy. 1.9 second aiming time, 0.36 dispersion still, and yet, you know, this thing, you'll see some uh, long distance shooting I do in the upcoming replays. 55 average damage, oops, back here is, uh, you know, it's pretty low. Look at that rate of fire, 28.57 times a minute. This thing is slamming out around. And you're going to see uh, one uh, <laughs> replay with a pretty surprise KB1S when he runs into this hurricane of fire. Average penetration 121, pretty darn good at tier 4. Let's look at our mobility. This is the factor of the Matilda where this thing falls off. You'll notice here we weigh 27.82 tons. 190 horsepower. Oh boy, this thing's pretty slow. Pretty darn slow. You, uh, you're you not getting into battle quickly. Um, you know, speed limit 24. You're usually doing about 20 if you're lucky. Um, hull traverse 36. Pretty good. That's not too bad. Turret Traverse 34, also not too bad. So, um, once you get to the battle, you can be effective. Let's look over at our radio action here. 450. Yeah, I've seen worse. Like we looked at the Stug in the Stug video, which was only, what, 415 for Tier 5? Well, this is Tier 4 at 450. Not too bad. You can live with that. Um, yeah, it's, it's about it, though. Uh, not bad is the best we can say about the radio. Um, hit points, health. Uh, your health hit points, 370 is not a lot. But at tier 4, 
It's probably average, um, but you are so well armored that uh, anybody under tier 4 has a lot of trouble penetrating you. So you can uh, take some comfort in that. Uh, view range, tier 4. It's half decent. It's half decent. It'll do, you know. Um, yeah, well, here, our Maddie. She's not pretty, but but we love her anyway. We wouldn't give her up for nothing. You're going to see in the video clips just <laughs> what this thing can really do. Okay, let's get to that. All right, our Matilda. We're in Asia, and uh, we're going to head across the river and trying to get up into these uh, center roads. See what some of our friends appear to be going with us. An AT-8. And what appears to be a Valentine. Also tier 4. Our AT-8 friend is tier 6. Well, it'd be good to have him along. And look at this. Am I going faster than than an 88 my goodness a drag racing Matilda what I want to show you in this uh, replay is the effectiveness of the rate of fire of the Matilda's gun you know, let this guy go on ahead he's not doing a number on my paint job okay Come on, AT-8. Come with me, buddy. Don't run away. Well, nope. here we have it. KV-1S. Boy, he is going to start to feel it right now. Bam. 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 He's got smoke in this guy. <laughs> oh, see, there's no way when he came around the corner that he thought... He was going to get burned down that quick. Not a chance. I'm going to carry on here. Now, I realize there was a big hit uh, from Mr. Bad Boy USA and his KV-1 looked like. But uh, still, I believe that it was, it was us that really burned that guy. Another hit. Watch how fast we burn this guy up. Ah, I think I just shot in the ass by my own player. Maybe already. Not sure. Nope. Kehoe. I don't know how he got around it. I mean, but... Oh. Bad boy, you see, he goes up. Oh, we bounce a shot off the T1 Heavy. Now we start drilling him. Boom. He's done. Okay. In this clip, we're on Westfield map. And because... Maddie is built for comfort and not for speed. We, I'm not going to cut across the valley and go up over the bridge like I would normally do in a faster medium. I'm going to come back up behind us here and try and hide in the dip and get some uh, shots of opportunity against a lot of the heavies and um, TDs that will be coming over the rise after our heavies. Um, you see this guy looking back, wondering what the heck are you doing going up here? You'll never get up here. That's true. We will get here, though. Slowly but surely, we are going to make it up. It's, uh, it's going to be take a bit, but this does illustrate your serious lack of mobility in this tank. Look at us. Seven kilometers per hour. Unbelievable. We would have been just as bad getting up over there, though. We're going to have many more shots of opportunity on this side. I think that's the thing. And quite frankly, I think our heavies could use uh, our assistance with our rapid-fire gun. You look at their list over here. What do we got? KV-1S, T-150, T-3485, and a Hellcat. Now, the Hellcat's gonna, capable of doing quite a number on our guys over here. I think we'll be... Uh, not bad for a bit of equalization and firing from the back and staying out of the way of the heavy guns. Oh, we're just about here. Crest. Crest the summit. Okay, move off. We're going to hide down here in this depression as we move along. And uh, that'll only leave our turret 
armor projecting pretty much. That is the thickest armor we've got. Not that the rest is bad, but uh, this is certainly uh, the best for the turret. So yeah, okay, so they've got uh, a couple guys spotted over there. Looks like, uh, what the hell got? oh, there are some guys coming up. Okay, well, we'll stay back from this bush here. Let's see through it. Oh, wow. Well, let's get over it. You have to move up to get that angle. Ooh, who's coming up over the hill? Can we get a shot at him? Well, we hit him. There we go. Oh, that was a bounce, I think. Ooh, he's gone anyway. Bam. Well, we didn't kill him, but we got some damage in on him. What about next here? Well, we don't really have a shot at the moment, so we're going to move up. Aha. Bam. Bam. What do you think of that, Mr. Hellcat? There's a hit. Think we killed that guy? No, we didn't. Nope, keep hitting them. Certainly gonna help keep their heads down. Bam! Another ba <laughs> Put a few more in there, just in case we can get some on him. No, it does not appear that we're going to. He's moved off. Oh, he's down. Tied five up. Oh, got one more. Like to put one into that light. No. Nope. Didn't get him. That's okay. Yeah. All is quiet. I'll move up a bit. Because our heavies have moved up quite a ways and have nobody spotted. Oh, here comes a TD. Oh, there's a medium there. I don't have a shot though. Let's keep it moving. The music does not match the pace. <laughs> nope, he's gone. Nope, they're calling for the extreme east on our end of the map here. Evidently, there must be some enemy up there. Oh, we did have a light who's no longer there. He must have got killed. No, nope. let's keep an eye out. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's a light coming down there. No, no shot on that guy. I'll take a look over here. I can put one in. Bam. Nope. Didn't get him from there. Well, let's get over. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, look at that. Looks like a Sherman. Bam. Bam. So, look at the rapid fire. Just burning this guy down. Yeah, he decided to try and get the heck out of there. I'm gonna lead him a little. Poof. Retract him. Oh, he's trying to get our artillery. I think our artillery's gonna suffer through all this. We had a little help from a Covenanter under the bridge there. Why he stayed under the bridge and didn't come out, I don't know. We obviously have to get back down the hill. And here comes your tough Matilda. Charging down the side of the mountain. I'm looking for that uh, light tank over there. Yeah, Covenanter, why won't you come out and help? God, can we get in there and save that already? Can't get a shot. Nope. i a shot on him. Let's get down there a little closer. Make sure we get this guy after that craziness. Oh, where is he now? Come on out, buddy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Put a shot at him. Boom. See you later. At this point, again, look at our mobility or the lack thereof. We are not going to get to the enemy base <laughs> before this is over, but we'll just sweep this way. And uh, this is going to be a huge ass win for sure for us. There's their Arnie. Climbing this hill. Ah, I'm not going to make you live through this. There goes Mr. Covenanter. 
Got nothing going on. Okay, let's move on to the next clip. And for our final clip, we're on the Arctic region map. Our Matilda. We are top tier, along with another Matilda on our team, and we're going to stick together as two Matildas for pretty much the whole match. Now, he's not quite as far along in his uh, upgrades as my Matilda, but you'll see that uh, two Matildas will win the day. Now, we're moving along uh, from north to west. Now, I personally wasn't going to head down to the southeast where usually you find heavies down in that corner. We don't really have any heavies in this match at all. So all those faster mediums and stuff would have been down there long before me doing their thing. So me and Mototax have decided to kind of cruise along here. And the uh, east to west via the northern passage. <laughs> I haven't run into any contacts up here yet, but we are uh, certainly bringing up the rear. I think we're going to go down and take the uh, lower road here. There's a lot of guys up top already. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I'm glad they got that TD up there on the cliff. Um, need him shooting down at us. Pretty hard to avoid him or get away. Oh, we're over here. Little medium. Bam! Put a few rounds in him. Get the kill. Alright. I do not think that he... Nobody expects the rapid fire of the Matilda gun. It's unbelievable. Now here's where we're going to showcase the accuracy or where it could hopefully be a little more accurate. Very hard to get him on. There's not much of him sticking out. We're having trouble getting a hit at this angle. The gun is flying, the shells sorry, are flying off to the left and right of the center point. We'll leave that to other people. Yeah, they got him. Well, let's keep moving in our slow but sure way. Oh, Panzer IV looks like up here. He's, oh well, yeah, we got what into him, but he suffered through a hurricane of fire. Uh, nobody down there. We got other media up to our right. Just checking our left there, make sure no one's taking, putting shots into us. Now you can see, we're not very long into this match, and it has been a killing, killing scene. Not many tanks left. That guy just took out our little TDs. So we can finish this guy. Another hit. Uh, I don't know if we'll get another one on him. Maybe. Nope. Missed him there. Maybe. Oh, got another one on him. That was good. He's down quite a ways. We're not worried about his gun getting through our armor, so we'll. Ooh, yep. Now, the RD that might be different. I am running the small liner, though, which makes a big difference. I rarely have crew injuries, and RD doesn't often take my tracks out. It does add weight, slows us down, but... All right, now what do we got here? Moto tax coming up behind me. We're going to see if we can get this medium out of here. Oh, our M37 is asking a, a light tank in our base to wake up. Because there's a medium coming up, going to try and kill him. Well, maybe we can get an angle on that. Let's see here. Yeah, let's see if we can get around into that guy. Yeah, we did. Put around in him. Boom! Killed him. Save the AFK light tank. It's all right. Or did we save? Yeah, we did. So that's good because he can spot for us from way over there. Oh, he's taking rounds from this guy now. One in them. Nope, missed. See? No. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, missed him again. Oh, another light. T46. Poof! Not anymore. Those poor little lights. Motor tax is coming up behind us with us. Look at that, eh? 
There's just two Matildas left in our team, but then there's only three left on their team as well. It just didn't take any time whatsoever. In fact, it's been, uh, no, not very long at all. Mostly killing. Okay, where did that medium go? There he is. 12%. Yeah, I think we're going to finish him in no time here. Oh, missed. Gone. Yeah, no time. All right. Moto Tax is headed off towards their base. Good decision. I'm taking arty rounds. Two arties left. So you can go that way. And uh, near this point, I tell him that I'm going to sweep around this way and join him at their base. And uh, good decision on his part to head out right away, knowing how long it's going to take him to get there. He might get there first and be able to end this. So. But I will follow through with my plan to go around the southeast and then over to the west. Burning vehicles everywhere. And we're up to four kills now. Pretty good. <laughs> and the T-46 is uh, telling me to catch up with him when he has his KV-1. Well, what he doesn't realize, if he ever sees this video and then the, what we did to the KV-1S in the beginning, that isn't going to help him. <laughs> He's going to have to get tougher. Take out the Matilda. All right. Slowly making our way. Cross our base. Head down the hill. As you uh, can see, this nothing happens quickly, except for the gun in the Matilda, but you don't go anywhere quickly. Um, and at that rate, a lot of people, oh, 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 artillery, one, two, oh, three, a shot and a miss by the artillery, boom, that's all she wrote for him. I feel fortunate that we did not get hit by that artillery, I think he was probably a little surprised to see us there, maybe a little flustered, uh, to our benefit, so now... So you see us streaking at 28 kilometers per hour. That's not going to last. Love the downhill. Now we're going to make our way over to our base. Their base, sorry. Uh, Moto Tax is just about there himself. Let's see who we can run into. Now we are home. Oh, we are at our theoretical top speed. 23, 24 kilometers. Not too bad. It could be faster, but we're going to have to take it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we are within sight of their base. Nobody spotted there yet. Uh, there's Moto Tax just coming within the signal range, popping in and out. We'll get a little closer. There we go. He still hasn't spotted their Artie. There's not much of their base left, unless... You know, they went up due north of us, up that way. May have good, may have done. We'll find out here pretty quick. Anybody in the base, especially if our base starts going off. Now, Moto Tax is capping, so if they're around, he's going to have to show himself pretty soon, somehow. Whether we fire, oh, uh, there we go, there we go. He is on the left, AMX 105 AM. He's down 18%. I would assume Moto Tax is going to have this one. Dun, creeping, crawling, clanking. Well, they're going to meet. Moto Tax is going around the rock. Just take a shot. It looks like he missed that one. Mm, AMX definitely has the uh, advantage in mobility. Interesting to see if we can get a shot on him here. Oh, he's poking out. Oh, we miss. Oh, Moto Tax does him in. Good deal. Good deal. And that finishes that one. I hope those clips have uh, given you a good idea of what the Matildas like to drive around and play. You know, and just how effective it really is on uh, against lower tier stuff. You know, its own tier, even a little higher. Check out the KV-1S, right? And, yeah, did a number on that guy. 
Um, yeah. You know, she's not pretty, but uh, under that skin, she's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know what? Thanks for coming out, guys. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye now.